wp-get web dev tutorials for all user levels okay so today i learned something really 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 cool about bricks that i did not know uh, i was actually looking at the alternatives of using padding or uh, row gap and um, column gaps for flex um, to get some responsive uh, column layouts uh, in bricks and I came across this guy, Cracker, I had not seen before. Uh, if you haven't seen him, brilliant. He presents really well, very, very clever. Uh, definitely worth a look. And I'll put that in the comments in my last post. Um, but he did something in Bricks that I didn't know he could do. I'm actually new to Bricks, so every day I'm learning. Um, so I wanted to show you what that was. And that was something that is really, really cool about Bricks. So here's a layout that I was playing around with based on what I saw from Cracker. And if I just grab a section, chuck it in there, I've got a div, I've got a container. And let's say, for example, on that container, I want to create some custom CSS. Um, and I want it as a global rule. So if I put in here, I'll put in here, uh, maybe I'll just call it test uh, container. All right. So I've created a new CSS rule. I'm just going to zoom in on it so you can see. See how it's highlighted in orange? That means that that particular rule is currently selected. So if I click somewhere else, if I click on another uh, item on here, so that div, whatever, see it's not selected up here. If I go back to my container, it's got the test container class on it, but it's not selected. If I select that, it's in orange. From that point on, all of these settings that I change, so for example, if I change this to a row, um, and I set the style of the background to a color. So I'll make that a that color there. Um, and let's maybe give it some um, padding on the top of say 5REM and 5REM on the bottom. Okay, so we've got some padding top and bottom. Actually, I've done margin, get rid of that. So padding top of five. And bottom 5REM. Okay, here's where it gets really, really cool. So if I change to my tablet breakpoint, and I change that to say 4REM on the top, uh, and I go to my mobile um, landscape, and I change that to 3REM, and then I go to my mobile portrait, and I change that to 2 REM. Excuse my voice, the spring is hit and the allergies are hitting with it, so uh, excuse me for that. So here I have a basically a container where I've added a test container class and I've just set some properties. So I've set a background color and at different breakpoints I've set the um, uh, padding on the container. If I go back for example here and I'm going to change the uh, where are we style let's change the color when it's on a mobile to a different color we'll make it this blue color when it's on mobile okay preview for that make that first go to my preview and then um, blah, 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 just maybe go to the actual preview what we're seeing here is on my desktop all the way down, this has got the brown color. And I get down to my mobile breakpoint. Still there, still there. And that goes blue. So the media query has been applied, right? Now, that's pretty cool in itself in the way that this works with just basically select, creating a class, uh, selecting it, and then changing all of your settings in the UI to create the actual CSS rules. Here's where it gets even cooler. So if I go to the page, and I view my page, source, come down here and look at this. I've created a test container and it's laid this all out for me. So if I want to make this a standard that I use, I just copy that, go to my code box or whatever you use, paste that in there. And I've now got my classes that I can apply to um, any Bricks uh, project that I'm working on. So what I'm liking about this is you don't need things like yellow pencil or, or whatever for creating these uh, classes for you. You can do it all within Bricks. 
just by using the UI, creating a class, applying all the settings at all the different breakpoints, uh, view the source, and then just copy the code that it created and stick it into your um, code manager, uh, and then away you go. Gotta format the code there. Um, so I think that's pretty good. I'm really, really pleased that I came across that. Um, I love the way it comments them all out. Um, I mean, it's pretty obvious when you know what you're looking at, but I don't have to figure out what breakpoints they are. It just creates it for me. I chuck them all in there. And uh, it does, I do notice here that the CSS it creates isn't very optimized. So um, didn't notice that before, but in here, for example, I've got a container, um, BRXE container padding top of 2REM, and then it's got exactly the same class there. So that could actually cut, cut out of there, stick it in there, it's gonna do exactly the same thing. So um, yeah, it's not exactly optimized, but it's not bad. And it's a good starting point um, for a lot of people like to standardize on things. So you might create a layout or a, uh, uh, some custom CSS rules that you use a lot, and you wanna stick them in your code manager. Fantastic, create them with the Bricks UI, copy and paste from the code, and there it is. So I'm really loving this idea. Uh, I'm learning more and more about Bricks every time I uh, get into it and look at uh, other, what other people are doing or play with it. Um, I think it's an absolutely brilliant um, add-on and um, a brilliant uh, addition to, um, um, to this uh, uh, great page builder. Okay, so uh, hopefully that's uh, something that's uh, useful to you, and uh, thank you for listening.